So on this first play, y'all got to see, man, four-man pass rush. That's what we're going to see this entire film study, y'all. And this is how we're going to be able to keep our defensive backs safer from getting beat because we have more help. But because there's more defensive backs out there, helping is going to be easier to cut off a lot of those passing lanes. Now, this was just one play. And that play right there was a third down. Now, we're going to hop into this one, which is a second down. And what's most important to watch on this is seeing we see Travis Kelsey move to the bottom of the screen in motion but we have james bradbury covering him now what i want to point out is this may be a spot nate hobbs wants to fill in or trayvon merrick so it's going to be interesting to see who actually fulfills this role because when we first had trayvon merrick out there going up against the chargers he was covering the tight end and it didn't look great to be honest but we'll see going up against monday night football against the chiefs so right here you see it's an errant throw it's a bad throw the timing was off because james bradbury was able to get there now you go down watch him one more time see travis kelsey come across the offensive line in motion and james bradbury in coverage gets his hands on him early and make sure to have that outside leverage good play a good no call and we're able to move on and this is a very pivotal position here because on this very next play to my surprise another errant throw from patrick mahomes and travis kelsey now go to the top of it and you see at the top of your screen it's a one-on-one -on -one. travis kelsey going up against james bradbury now at the top of this route it looks like there was a slight tug and you'll see travis kelsey kind of go down now i don't know if this was him trying to break away with some I mean, dramatization, but James Badbury apparently got the better of him with no flag. And at that point, he was early in his press as well within five yards to be physical. And we're going to need somebody being physical on Travis Kelsey. Now, here's another one up against Travis Kelsey. And this one, no man coverage. It's a soft zone. Being off of the path around, Travis Kelsey picks up the ball and gets stripped. And the New York Giants take advantage of it returned this for a decent gain and because of it they were able to get their offense the ball back now this right here is something the coach will probably preach but it's something that the players have to go do and get done at their level because they're the ones on the field so let's hope this defense can get some turnovers for the offense for extra possessions now here's a very pivotal play i want to show and this is the red zone and how the red zone basically looked the entire game the entire game, the red zone defense basically looked like this. You get the drop back from Mahomes, and again, look how many people are rushing. Only three pass rushers with the quarterback spot. And at the top of the drop from Patrick Mahomes, you see that spot kind of sink in, forcing Mahomes to bring the ball down, and it ends up ultimately getting sacked by the defensive end. That's a great play, and let's watch it one more time. You can see there's a guy on the edge here going in, making the third edge rusher. Three guys going at the quarterback, bring out the spy. It's a lot of man coverage, double coverage on Travis Kelsey, forcing Mahomes to bring the ball down. And it's a great complimentary play from this defense and great scheme from Patrick Graham. Again, a quarterback spy, three man pass rush, and it gets to the quarterback again. Let's watch it one more time. And this is what I suspect to see coming from this Raiders defense. Patrick Graham is going to want to only rush three guys contain the quarterback and make him throw from the pocket with the quarterback spy blaring down on him now who is going to be that quarterback spy let me know down in the comments what you guys think i would like to think it's going to be jonathan abram and then who is going to be ultimately covering travis kelsey for instance having plays like this being able to be physical i would think it's going to be nate hobbs but so far with how patrick graham has been playing nate hobbs he likes him being the nickel or on the outside and based on the first week of trayvon mary playing and him coming back i suspect him covering travis kelsey so you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about this defense i think it was very effective holding the 20 points holding travis kelsey really to a limited amount of yards and patrick mahomes so let me know down in the comments what you guys think don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button appreciate y'all until next time break the tape